What's up YouTube, it's Robo13 and I have the video that you've all been waiting for. This is the untethered 4.3.1 jailbreak for the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, new, new and old boot ROM, iPod Touch 3, iPod Touch 4, and the iPad 1. All of the devices are not supported at this time. Um, the Apple TV is not supported uh, through Red Snow, but you can jailbreak it through Ponage Tool for Mac users only, okay? So now, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna download Red Snow 0.9.6 RC9. I'll have a link in the description. You also want to download your um, device's firmware, and I'll have a link in the description to download that as well. So once you get those two things downloaded, you're gonna get a file for Red Snow. It's a zip folder, and you're gonna to want to uh, unzip the folder, and you will get another folder like this, and it'll have Red Snow, the program in it, just like that. So you're gonna to to double click on Red Snow. You're also going to want to have your uh, device plugged in. So this is going to pop up. It's just going to say browse for your IPSW. So you're going to want to browse for the firmware that you just downloaded. Um, I have it saved in my flash drive. So I'm just going to double click on that. And just to show you guys that I am running the 4.3.1 firmware. Um, right there, 4.3.1. Okay, so when you click on your firmware, it'll say processing firmware just like that. And when it's done, it'll say uh, identify correctly. Let's click next. It'll download all this extra stuff. You don't need to worry about that. Okay, when that's done, it will come up like this. And it'll, you want to click the, uh, the stuff you want to put on your device and I'm going to put in uh, Cydia and battery percentage that's all I really need so then when I click next it's going to want to put me into it's going to want to put the uh, iPod into DFU mode so I'm just going to put the camera down like this <clears throat> and show you guys exactly what to do so you're going to want to come up and click next and now it's going to say turn off your device and have it plugged in so I will turn off the device slide the power off and have it plugged in through USB. So when it's completely turned off like that, then, then you're gonna wanna click next. So you're gonna hold the power button down for three seconds, then hold the power and the home button down for 10 seconds. And then release the power button, but keep holding the home button. Okay, and then after you do all that, it will be, let's say, installing or downloading jailbreak data, just like that, and you're just going to want to let it sit and let it do its thing, and it will finish, just like that. It'll say rebooting, and then it'll say done. You'll have all these files put onto your iPod. You can look at them. They're pretty cool to, uh, to read and stuff, but other than that, you don't need to do anything else. It'll say that it, the rest of it takes place on your device, so when it's finished jailbreaking, I will come back. Okay, and you're going to get this pineapple logo just like this, and it'll be installing all the uh, programs and stuff for Cydia and for uh, the jailbreak itself. Um, another thing, you're going to want to have to have the uh, newest version of iTunes installed on your computer, so make sure you have it updated and everything, or else when you try to jailbreak, it'll just go straight through it all, and it won't put Cydia on your iPod or your iPhone or anything like that. So. Uh, make sure you have iTunes installed, make sure it's updated all the way, and make sure you have the correct firmware. Um, it's pretty easy to download, you can't really mess it up, so I'll put all the links in the description for you, um, and hopefully it works for you. So, when this is done, I'll come back. Okay, my iPod uh, is finished booting, so slide to unlock. That was a little laggy. Yeah, so I do unlock, so scroll over and you will have Cydia right there. Um, so to prove that this is a 
Uh, untethered jailbreak. This is the iPod Touch fourth generation. You can see the camera. I'll slide the power off. Okay, it's completely off. Now I'll hold the power button back on, turn it back on. And I'm not running any programs, so. This is an untethered jailbreak for the 4.3.1 firmware. Again, the devices that are supported are the iPhone 4, not the Verizon Wireless one, only AT&T right now. Um, the iPod Touch 4, the iPhone 3GS old boot ROM and new boot ROM, the uh, iPod 3, and the iPad 1. Okay, so scroll over, and it just turned back on, so it is untethered. Come over here, turn, click on Cydia, and preparing file systems. Cydia will exit when complete. So, there you go. This is the untethered jailbreak for the 4.3.1 firmware. If you guys have any questions, just post a comment below. Remember to like this video so other people can see it. Uh, subscribe to me for new videos, and send me a friend request, all right? Thanks, guys. Also, one more thing that I found on the 4.3.1 firmware, uh, some Cydia packages do not work because 4.3.1 uh, firmware uh, makes it so that they don't work. It's just, that's just how it is, but it's just like when they updated to 4.2.1 or 4.0, um, some of the device or some of the apps and the pro, the stuff in City just did not work. Uh, just give it a few days and it will eventually uh, come back online and it will work, so don't freak out. Um, don't, don't think there's an issue or anything like that. It's just that the new firmware messes up some of the apps and some of the programs, so don't worry. They will all be back up and running soon. Um, just give us some time. So if you guys have any questions, just post a comment below. And remember to subscribe to me for new videos, alright? And send me a friend request, alright? Thanks, guys.